What is happening guys? Scotty here with another toy review and today we have Rukusho from the series So this is the KWG00M, also better known as Rakusho from Metabots, is a 1-6 scale figure. So yeah, you have to build this guy. You have to build him from scratch. And if you're not into model builds, do not worry. It is one of the easiest builds ever. So I suppose the first thing we need to talk about is the build process. The build process was fairly simple. The instructions are really good. There wasn't many difficult parts apart from the spring-loaded scissors and the spring-loaded sort of fingers. Those were were very difficult to keep the spring in place but once you snap them together it was fairly straightforward after that point. Building the arms was quite early on so once you've got that out of the way it's plain sailing for a build anyway. Number two, let's talk about articulation. His articulation is really good but there is some parts that are just not great. As is a model kit, doing any type of movement and things like that, unfortunately he can fall apart really easy so if you are a toy photographer like me you are going to probably get annoyed with him from time to time because an arm's fallen off or a leg's fallen off maybe his body's fallen off the only thing that doesn't seem to fall out or fall off is his head but the scissors on his head do fall off it's easy to get him into a good pose but it's very infuriating when he falls apart when you're trying to get him into that pose but let's have a look at articulation so head a very good ball joint up down left and right so some really good articulation on his head so you can get some pretty good poses that way the arms do a full 360 but they do get his head scissors sort of get in the way and you can see his arm has just fallen off aye 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 but it's quite simple to just snap them back in place but arms have a full 360 and his sort of arm his shoulder i don't know what they're called shoulder points shoulder blades i don't but they do have some sort of movement as well, up and down, which is quite good. Full 360 at the body, but it tends to, he, the more and more you do that, he will fall apart. The legs do have, so if you take his side skirts off, which we'll talk about those in a minute, but if you take his side skirts off, he has some really good posability, especially if you're going for like the high kicks or trying to go for a sort of dramatic pose like that. So you can get some pretty good, pretty cool poses with them that way, but his um, legs do tend to fall off, but the side skirts, we'll, we'll talk about that just in a second. So we have really good knee joints, and in terms of his foot, it's on a ball joint here. You actually have some, well, we're gonna call them toes, but it's not toes, like you have some toe movement along with a ball joint at the back of his foot as well. But you do have quite a good scope for doing any sort of pose with this figure. Now, let's talk about the side skirts. So if you have a look, right the side, we've got two little ball joints here. Well, whether you want to call them ball joints, and they clip in. So I actually have some blue tack on mine just to keep, to keep them in place. Uh, I didn't have on this one, but Honestly, get blue tack if you want this figure because it's next to impossible to get these back on. There we go. That looked a lot easier than it is, but it's only because I have blue tack on this one. If, for any reason, I didn't have blue tack on this side, once you were plugging that one back in, this one would fall off. If you were plugging this one in, that one would fall off. And it's an absolute nightmare. The side skirts, I hate them. They look great when they're on, but they are not good once you start posing them. But there we go, his articulation is amazing. Just outstanding. And you have a couple of cool cool points. If we, oh, well, that's fallen off. If we pull down his back there, you get to see his medal. And that does move up and you can take his medal out. So kind of if you're reenacting a Metabot scene, this would work really well. And in here, depending when the light catches it, it kind of looks like it lights up a little bit, but it's really good. And here's a couple of his main features. So we'll start with this one. We have some sort of, there we go. That's one spring. And if we hit the other one, way. So it's really satisfying once you actually built this and the, the actual mechanism works properly. Um, it's quite good, but see see how easy it is just to, for them to fall apart. But you really can get some cool poses with them. So 
So let's talk about the good. So the good you have his articulation. His articulation is fantastic. His look is amazing. Just he, he looks exactly how he would on the show, with a couple of bits that maybe need some slight paint, but that's not that's not a deal breaker for me. And you can get him into hundreds of poses. So for a toy photographer and a Metabots fan, outstanding. I couldn't ask for a better figure in terms of posability. You get a lot of other accessories. So you get four lenses or eyepieces or whatever you want to call them. Um, so they are interchangeable. So you have him with his sort of serious eyes, confused eyes, no eyes and normal eyes. You get a uh, a good three sets of hands. Um, you've got kind of strained hands, you have fist pose hands, and you also have, I suppose just uh, another, uh, I don't know what kind of pose you would call these hands, but you get another set of hands as well. You also get this little yellow piece, and this little yellow piece is you take Rukusho's scissors out of his, um, or well his blade, out of his arm and then you place that in and, and that makes it look as though it has been retracted. The only thing is, mine doesn't stay in properly. It falls out pretty much all the time. You may get lucky, but I don't tend to pose them with that on, so it's not a big deal for me. You also get a stand piece, so you don't actually get a stand with it. And there we go, we have a nice little pose, as if he's actually jumping. Which is nice, glad they added that in. But yeah, those are my good points. The bad. Now we've already talked about the the side skirts, which will be my number one issue with it. The side skirts are just horrible. Um, it, they they just don't work properly with it, and trying to put them back on is just a nightmare. So that is definitely point number one that I hate more than anything. Point number two would be some of the joints. You can actually see, especially around his neck. If I let's do this gently. So if you look him up, you can kind of see, if we zoom in a little bit. So yeah, you can see up here we have the color of the ball joint doesn't match his neck, which really annoys me, it just doesn't work, it should have been blue. So that's more of a, an issue, and you can see it kind of at the foot and stuff as well, and sometimes where the, where the knees are. So sometimes that bugs me, especially if you're taking your toy photos and you want it to look as accurate as possible. Sometimes I do my best to just hide them, but it doesn't always work out that way. So that would be number two. And is there a third? Is it? There is a third. Finally, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like and a comment and subscribe for future reviews. Catch me over on Instagram at Scottish Photography for epic photos, toy community challenges, live streams and more. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you guys in the next one.